appreciate your joining us. Thank you, Laura. Um, Rick, what does population stabilization mean and how do you seek to enforce that? Well, we're not the epigones of uh, Malta, as uh, some would have uh, you believe, but uh, the world population is a concern. The Associated Press just has an article today saying that the world population is going to reach 7 billion people by the year 2012, or 6.7 so billion people today. And so, you know, what it means for Americans is unrestrained population growth. I'm a baby boomer. I was born in the middle of the last century. The population in the country has doubled in my lifetime. Those kids in high school today are going to see a half a billion people living in America and the question we're asking is why do we need to have this growth and where is it coming from and we've located the source of right. over 80 percent of it is coming from immigration right. and the children that immigrants have okay so what do you propose I'm gonna go back to the basics here because I'm just gonna like let you carry on with this crazy idea that people are bad and we should have fewer of them because I actually like people I want to have more people but let's say you're right okay <laughs> how do you enforce your worldview is this an international national uh, body that somehow mandates population growth. I mean, China's trying that with its one-child policy, and then after the big natural disaster there, they're going, oh, maybe this isn't such a good idea. After all, we're going to lose population. Our concern is about American population growth and, of course, California. The 37 million people in Cal 37 million people in California today are going to be 60 million people in the next two to three decades. So you have no idea. And so, Rick, I can't. This is so, driving me crazy. You're driving me crazy. Do you have this. a plan, to... Rick? You, no, no, you're spouting yes. off things from an office in California. This is my question. You're saying something very controversial here, and I hope people understand what you're saying. You think there should be fewer people in the United States. I'm trying to figure out which people are the undesirables. <laughs> and you pointed out you think immigrants oh my are undesirable. God. I guess illegal immigrants are undesirable, and all those children they have are undesirable. And you know, I don't, I don't want illegal people here, but I don't, I don't want people to be killed either. So my question to you is, with your worldview, <laughs> this is how unbelievable. Do you enforce this one-child per person utopia. How do you do it? Enough with the spouting. Yeah. I don't want to hear that. We don't use we don't use the word undesirable. What we want to do is to see the immigration laws don't. enforced to cut down the numbers of uh, the influx of illegal aliens into the country, which is driving almost all of the population growth in this country. We want the immigration laws enforced. We don't feel that it's a fair trade-off to leave open borders so employers can have access okay. to cheap labor and to overpopulate the country for the future generation. Okay, well, you and I agree about uh, illegal immigration, okay? We agree on one thing, that we need to enforce our borders, enforce our laws. But you go from that to saying, you know, population stabilization, which sounds a lot like population control, which sounds a lot but like this crazy alarmism in the population bomb. I think that wasn't that the book in the 70s. All their predictions turned out to be completely ridiculous and never came to pass. So I want you to be real careful here, Rick, and you don't get into that uh, those very murky waters. I think that's a dangerous place for you to go. You don't have to go that far to argue that America is a sovereign country and we should enforce our borders. I don't think you have to go that far. Well, that's true. Uh, we also don't need to get to the Malthusian apocalypse or, or the predictions of the population bomb to understand that overpopulation decreases standards of living. We have uh, problems standards with health care, education. Standards of living are increasing around the world. Uh, people are living longer around the world, Rick. Uh, the population, yeah, is going up, but we actually also have people who are being born who come up with cures for diseases, who innovate, who become entrepreneurs, and become you know wonderful, loving people who pass down a culture to the next generation. So I would agree I, I with you. You have argue. to manage these things, but the idea that that, that you can you, you can somehow through you know I guess argument or column writing or whatever it is that you do that somehow you're going to stop people from having children, I don't think that's the problem. I think it's standing up for your country and sovereignty, and and that's fine. Do you see what I'm saying? Our, our goal is to remind people that the population continues to grow faster than India or China and that the source of that population growth is unrestrained immigration and the federal government not enforcing the immigration law. That's what's causing it. People are good. I've heard the argument waiting for the mythical Mozart. Yes, there's right, possible but you're about, geniuses that haven't right. been born yet. Right. But we're right. worried about this country and the future generations of this country and what they're going to have right. to deal yeah. with if we don't get control of our borders and our population. Okay, but why are you focusing on the borders, though? If it's over population why, why does the borders even come into it I, you know it's across the board it's because white brown and black right or is it just brown skin people you don't think should be born 
<laughs> not at all. With us, it's not well, the you're focusing who, on illegal many. immigration, and I think that gets you into a really, really murky territory. And uh, over eighty you percent. Know, we're, we're out of time. I, I we're out of over, time. Over eighty percent of our population growth is coming from immigrants and the children they have. That's where we want to see the federal government focus its efforts to enforce the borders and to cut yeah, down the numbers fine. that are coming into the country. And enforce the borders, yes. Don't don't use words like population stabilization. I get very protective over people living. Um, I appreciate it though. Uh, you're a stand-up guy to join us. And funny man Mike Myers, ladies.